Hi everyone, thank you again for tuning in to the Migrant Hope channel. I'm your host Charlene and I'm very grateful if you're here. For all those who have subscribed to our channel, I just want to say thank you very much and quick news guys, there's going to be a nice giveaway for the first 50 subscribers. Right now we're at 49, so I just need one more person to subscribe and we're good to go. So thank you again and I'm your host Charlene. And I just want to say um, I'm really glad you're here and welcome to the channel where we encourage young professionals to be intentional about the choices that we make concerning our professions. So from the title today we can see or we can all see that we're talking about investing 101 for non-business or if you're not in the business world in terms of like finance, accounting, all that kind of stuff. So this video you want to really stick around because it's going to be very very interesting and I'm very happy if you're already watching it so first point is the first thing about investing is the most important thing is you want to change mindset about investing so I know many of us you know we are all tired of the rat race of just working 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 sometimes you some people have two jobs some people have three jobs it doesn't mean that because you have so many jobs you're going to end up making a lot of money and now I'm going to talk about the difference between actually being rich and actually being wealthy so I'm sure many of us as Millennials you know in this day and age everybody's like I'm tired I don't need to work so much to be able to make so much money because we can tell these days that it's all about being efficient so if you're efficient at the work that you're doing you should be able to make the same amount of money hard working or like working long hours does not necessarily mean that you're going to be sufficient so that's why I want to teach you guys and I want to kind of lecture you know and just entertain us as we go through about the whole world of investing and hopefully you guys learn something and be sure to engage in the um, comments box below so the first thing I want to talk about is is changing our mindset of investing many people who are big investors you know like in the stock market and all that stuff they don't just wake up and say okay today I'm going to they have to have the right mindset and that's kind of what I want to talk to you today about money it's very important that we understand we have the right mindset about money and this video and honestly this topic in particular just about the right mindset can really transcend into many other different topics but we need to have the right mindset the mindset of I can attain this amount of money I'm supposed to earn this amount of money and I should be able to make use of the amount of money that I earn because by changing your mindset about money you tend to believe in yourself more and you're able to attain and be able to you know be more successful you have more um, you have more to do with your money versus actually just going to work every day and just taking it and spending it on like bills and all that stuff and I'll talk more about you know your worth and all of that so the first thing is uh, changing your mindset and you know from the um, from the thumbnail I took that book which it's called think and grow rich and it's one of the best books which I've read because it really teaches us about you know our mindset about wealth about money and it really puts you in the right perspective to know okay if I want to be I want to be wealthy I need to you know have a different mentality or a different approach towards money and let me go into this there's a big difference between being wealthy and being rich so being rich is you know going to work you can be making six figures and all that stuff but wealth is actually what your asset, what your net worth is, and I'm going to dive more into that later. So the next thing is, there's nothing more annoying than having money just sitting in a savings account, right? I'm sure we have, we all know, okay, everybody says, oh yeah, I have an emergency fund, have this, have that. But at the same time too, you know, what's that money doing in a Bank of America account per se? Let's say, for example, I have a Chase, um, a Chase saving, a savings account. Every month, 35% of my income will go into my savings account, but it's not really doing anything. We want to get to that point that our money is working for us and it's actually being able to like, give us the lifestyle that we want so the next thing is I really believe that these conversations are very important because many people who are not financially savvy like and this video is really geared to people who are not really in the business world for example if you're a creative or if you're like many of my people my African people who are all in the medical field it's high time that we stop giving our money to people like me granted you know I'm always here to take your money you know but at the same time it's very very important that you know where your money is going what you can do with your money and just you need to learn about investing it's good to have a financial advisor because of course when you get to a certain amount of income that you're not able to actually manage your money per se then you'll get an advisor or like an investor or some but somebody to work with you but for the most part it's very regardless of whether you hire someone or not it's very very important that we understand 
what amount of money we're making, where this money is going, and how we can actually make that money work for us. And I'm sure many of us have heard the term of money working for us, right? It doesn't mean that every day we wake up, go do a 9 to 5 job, 9 to 7 job, but we want to be able to take that money to be able to actually work for us. So this is just key one investment 101 now this is the most valuable thing i'm going to say throughout this video is this is my point too understanding literally guys understanding your net worth and what i mean by this is assets liabilities and equity if you're in the finance business you know accounting world you've definitely heard that term before assets equal liability and equity and i'm going to break it down for you guys because it's very important that you understand these because this has a huge impact on how much you invest on investing in your sense so your assets for example could be money could be an asset a picture frame you own for example could be an asset my camera which i'm feeling with could be an asset so an asset is something that i own that if i exchange it i'll be able to get some sort of value in terms of like a monetary value so i'll be able to get money for it now your liabilities are expenses so every month i have to pay rent expense i have to pay for gas for my car i have to get my nails done i have to get my eyebrows done. those are expenses which are liabilities now liabilities always count against you because every month you know you have to spend all of that now your equity is your net worth this is what you're actually worth after you earn money and you expense it what do i have left that is what you're worth and that's you know when you hear celebrities say oh yeah he's worth 200 million that's what they mean that his equity what he as a human being in terms of like physical um physical value in terms of money that's what he is worth or she is worth because it's what they own minus their expenses that's what you 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 are worth so for example if you decide to go into the investing world right what you own could be your money and then after you pay all your expenses for the month and everything what you have left you can take that amount and put in the stock market and let it grow for you and that would build your net worth because that money you can return you can get a return on your investments and it will transcend back into your asset column and this guys this is a very basic bottom line investing 101 just to kind of get us in the conversation of actually investing and letting our money work for us so the next point I'm going to talk about is is the pros of investing so investing would be able to afford us not having to have a second job right I understand Millennials like myself if you know me I travel like almost every single weekend but that's only because I really enjoy traveling but investing will give me that opportunity to be able to travel I don't need a second job per se because if I have money invested somewhere in property in um in the stock market in any form of like you know I mean like a certificate of deposit that gets interest like a high interest rate then or then I'm able to actually use that money to be able to afford the kind of lifestyle that I want so investing gives you that opportunity next thing is investing provides us that knowledge to understand where your money is going this is very important i know you know from our older generations and just people now you know everybody is always very excited about 401ks and 401ks is like your retirement fund usually that it's a policy which the government set in place some companies help um their employees to set up like 401ks and they actually do the contributions for them a lot of people are always so happy oh yes i have a 401k give my phone that is great and i encourage you because you're setting up yourself for retirement but when is that money actually coming from or where is it going i'm sorry so they take 20 a hundred dollars every month from your paycheck do you know where your money is going where is that money going to for 1k what does i be that is the most broadest like you know and very roundest term where is that money going so we really need to understand being a being a proper investor you'll be able to understand where your money is going because there's a whole loop there's a whole cycle where all that money which your company takes from you they channel it and they go give it to like an investment fund it's that's another topic for another day but having that knowledge of investing understanding the concept would give you that understanding and say okay if they're taking this amount of money out of my um, paycheck every month this is where it's going and this is I can actually track and you can actually go and see where what stocks what bonds that money your money which you've hired which you've worked hard for is actually going so it gives you that knowledge and the third thing is investing gives us the opportunity to be able to have knowledgeable conversations guys remember that as young professionals one thing that we really want to stress on this channel is we all have the opportunity of choice we have to make a choice so part getting very familiar with the whole investing world understanding that your money can actually work for you and for you to be able to become a wealthier person is 
you need to be able to do this so that you can have knowledgeable conversations with people and you're able to grow yourself and grow your own mental capacity now the biggest con with investing is actually your money just sitting there and i would say this because a lot of people who don't invest in anything, right? And I'll talk about what you can actually invest in. A lot of people who don't invest in anything say, oh yeah, but your money is not safe, it's not safe. What in life is really safe, guys? Seriously, like waking up is a risk. So why not have that money put somewhere and the money is working for you? When all these companies make money, when they declare their dividends, all of that gets put in you. You know, that's good, easy money for you. What's really the biggest risk? And honestly speaking, guys, I'm, I'm sure that we all know that everything in life is a risk. So why not take that risk? What's the point in your money sitting in the bank account, saving for a rainy day? Granted, I encourage everybody to have an emergency fund, and I'll really talk more about like you know emergency fund, like what's really the purpose of having, having an emergency fund. But at the same time, you've built up your emergency fund. Now you have an extra load of money. What are you doing with that? Why is it just sitting there? You don't want it to sit there. Take that money out and let it do some work for you. And now I will talk about um the point four which is what can you invest in right so the first thing is i'm sure everybody always thinks about is the stock market and i'm going to literally do another stock market 101 lesson on this is the stock market this is just a place it's a marketplace it's literally a market for stocks but where this is where buying and selling of stocks and stocks out of stocks or bonds take place and this is where you know let's say for example i'm interested in coca-cola coca-cola is doing very well in different countries i go ahead and buy their stock when they release their dividends if i buy let's say three stocks you know and each stock is worth two dollars or the return the return on my investment is two dollars and I, I own uh, three stocks so that means I made six dollars from it so the more you invest the more stocks you have the more um, return you get the more money you get now the stock market though you can either invest in stocks which are actually like day-to-day -day, or you can invest in a bond and these are different kinds of like you know pieces of um, financial instrument that's the right word and you can also have an exchange traded fund which are ETFs and guys we're going to dive more into this I'm probably going to have somebody who is very versed in the stock market come and talk to us you know and tell us you know about investing in the stock market the next thing is real estate I know many of us this is everybody keeps hearing people oh yeah i flip three properties that's a big thing amongst us millennials everybody wants to buy property but you need to understand the value of property number one an asset your house is not an asset and guys i want to really really emphasize this owning a house is not an asset it's if it is backed up by a loan from the bank that is a liability because if you don't make your payments monthly you're gonna get kicked out and what do we talk about liabilities it's an expense your mortgage expense until you find you made your final down payment on that house if you do not buy cash the house belongs to the bank because if you don't make that payment it's going to actually reverse on you and affect you negatively so that's another thing though other than the fact that your 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 real estate could be um like a liabilities you can invest in real estate a lot of people buy properties which are very in very dilapidated areas refurnish them and make them look nice many people own airbnbs you know they just have that because that's a really big and booming business real estate people always need a place to stay when you're thinking of things that you want to do invest in, and this is for my entrepreneurs out there always think of the hierarchy and i think it's maslow's law of hierarchy level of hierarchy it's like food water and shelter those are the three most essential necessities for human beings so think about that when you're thinking of okay i want to start a business what can you do that will be centered around those because those are things that people are all always going to need so real estate is another thing that you can actually invest in and the last thing is it to a certificate of deposit now this is where like you can have let's say a lump sum of like five thousand dollars and you go put in the bank and you literally cannot touch that money but a lot of banks have different interest rates some people have some banks i'm just going to throw a number out there like five percent of an interest rate on a cd so you can invest in that as well or you can just put your money there and it will grow for you personally i do not recommend that but it is an option and it is out there for if you're interested in doing so so guys this is these are just quick tips here and there about investing 101 and this is really geared towards people who do not have any idea or if you're not sure i know i'm going to get a lot of comments a lot of questions about this please leave all your discussions everything in the 
comment section below so we can engage in conversation the last thing I want for our generation is not for us not to learn from our parents generation we are tired of the nine to five rat race working this working that no we make money so let our money work for us thank you guys so much and it has been a wonderful pleasure to be with you please be sure to engage and email me if you have any questions if you have any contributions whatsoever I'm always available so and I would love to really engage with you guys thank you so much and have a wonderful day